hi everyone and welcome to this video if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos today i'm going to do a first impression so today we are going to review this palette this is a new brand called lh cosmetics and it's in swedish brown this is infinity palette made by linda halberg let me just read a little bit about her or about this um, brand on her page or LH Cosmetics page. It says like this, LH Cosmetics is developed by makeup artist and digital influencer Linda Halberg. Uh, art, shapes and colors has always caught her eye which sparked an interest for makeup at a young age. After years spent working in the beauty industry and with social media, she started to see new needs for certain type of products. More exactly, multi-use products. People were using lipsticks as lipsticks and eyeshadows as eyeshadows. What she wanted to do was to develop a multi-use brand where the colors were only colors and nothing else. So this is uh, her first palette and it's called Infinity Palette of course. And it says here on the back, I'm going to read, relieve your inner creator, let's just call them colors. Infinity Palette is the ultimate product bound to no rules. Eight colors with infinity possibilities. Use them for sculpturing your face, eyes, brows, cheeks, decolletage and body. You are the creator. It's made in Germany of course and this is how the palette looks like. Now I did swatch this palette and put a picture on my Instagram. I think it was last week but I didn't try it on my face and that's exactly what we are going to do today. I only wear foundation, of course primer, foundation, setting powder, a little bit of concealer, uh, eyeshadow primer and this paint pot over the primer. And this is how the palette looks like. It has a big nice mirror and this is the colors. And now I'm going to do like I always do with every palette that I have, I'm going to do swatches. First I'm going to take this first road up here. try this palette all over my face and see if we really can use it for everything haven't filled any anything my eyebrows so, and I really like the mirror in here it looks very nice it's not heavy at all very thin palette cardboard cardboard I think it's pronounced and it feels okay doesn't feel very expensive but it feels very nice and you can't really flip it all the way back. So I think I'm going to first set this eyeshadow primer. So these eyeshadows are very soft. So you, when you put the brush in it, you get a lot of product. They are very soft, powdery. It reminds me a little bit of Anastasia. But look at this. interested on contour my face and I'm going to use a brush and I think I'm going to try contour my face with this color cigar I'm going to use this brush from um, Luxie 504 504 
it looks nice. Very powdery colors. Looks a little bit ashy, but I think I'm going to mix with this other color too. I'm going, I think I'm going to mix this color too a little bit just to see. to fill in my eyebrows and I think I'm going to take this cigar color again and see if that works on my eyebrows I really like this palette so far our colors are a little bit too powdery for my taste, but I think they turned out okay. Not bad, not bad at all. So now I'm thinking which one I will use as my blush. I think I'm going to use this more pinky one. I really like this. Looks very nice. Now I'm definitely going to do an eye look. So let's go and take this, of course, cigar as a transition shade. Then go into this color, this brown color, and into my crease. I'm going to take another brush and take this darker brown again. And then I'm going to take this smaller blending brush and take this black eyeshadow. to take this brush that I use for my eyebrows and take this cigar color under and this brown color too this very small brush and take this milky way to take this color as my highlighter and see how that works that looks nice let's mix with this Milky Way take this one too oh yes So this one works better for my This 
is the final look using only this Infinity palette by Linda Halber or LH Cosmetics. I do like this palette. The colors are very easy to blend. The only issue that I have is maybe with this color, highlighting color up here that I don't really think it's as pigmented as I would like it to be. Uh, they are a little bit too powdery, but you can see it's a little bit dirty right now. Very soft, so you, but very, very pigmented. And I do like it. I think this is a great palette to travel with. You only need to take this a mascara and lipstick. <laughs> the mascara that I have right now is this yourself this the shock mascara and it's one of my favorites and I only have one coat and this is how it turned out and I'm wearing this Nevin Romantic Date matte liquid lipstick so I'm very happy with this palette now LH Cosmetics are coming out with some interesting products that I'm definitely going to purchase and try and do first impression of because I do like this palette and I think I'm definitely going to take this with me when I travel. I will definitely do some other makeup looks with this palette. So if you want to see other makeup look using makeup looks using this palette give a thumbs up so I know you want to see that and I'm definitely going then to film. You get 3.5 grams of uh, product in each color so do I think it's worth the money I don't actually really know I do like it I will definitely continue to use it and tell you my opinion but I do like this palette it's unique it's a little bit expensive it costs around $45 399 Swedish crowns and I think it's a little bit on the expensive side but I think, I think it's a good product. I'm very happy that I got this and I'm definitely going to use it more. So, thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!